Giggity Bush camping tools here today. Well, we've got with us out and about here Jack Kitts KN, they are the KN V3. Okay, so this is the smaller knife, the smaller version of the KN V2 that you've seen me uh, talk about in a review uh, a while back ago now. Anyway, just to recap on this, it's a hunting knife. It's got an 84 millimeter long blade, this smaller version with an 84 millimeter long blade. The blade thickness is four and a half millimeters thick, so it's a pretty thick blade for such a short one. But it's got this great edge on it. It's, 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 it's a con type of convex edge. Uh, Jack Kitt's calling their Extrema V Edge. In other words, their Extreme V Edge. Uh, and they say that it bites better in than the regular 22 degree bevel. And I've got to say from my previous experience uh, with the same kind of edge put on the KN V2, so that's, that's about right. That's a pretty good summary. Now the steel for this knife is the same as the KN V2 and that is this 99CR18MOV. So basically that's an improvement on 440C. There's, there's higher carbon in it. And the Rockwell on this knife is the same as the other one on the KMV2. It's a 59 hardness HRC, HRC Rockwell 59. It's pretty damn hard and it really holds an edge. So anyway, look, follow me round out here uh, for the coming weeks. And I'm going to show you what I've been doing and what I will do with this knife. And we'll give it a good testing out in the field. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bush Camping Tools here. Stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is a bit of a sharpness test, which I reckon is far superior to be cutting paper out in the wilds, and that is to cut something really thin, such as this here. See, there's no weight, supporting weight in that. So if a knife blade is, is, is really dull or just not sharp, it's, it's, it's not going to be able to cut. It's got to be really sharp to be able to cut something like that because a dull blade is going to hit something like that, and there's no weight in that, and that is just going to not resist, and that's going to glance off the knife blade. So what we're going to try and do now is we're going to get this KN V3, and I'm going to see how well that can, how that can cut this uh, reed here. Okay, let's get the knife out and check it out. Here's the knife, and here we go. And look at that. Look at that. Let's look at the end. Just look at the cut on that. That is a smooth cut on there, straight through there, in one chop, right? There's no bending or anything. Look at that, look at that up there, okay? So that's indicative of a very sharp knife. So I actually cut this branch off with basically one cut um, with such a small knife. Okay, it doesn't have much momentum because it's a small blade. It's not particularly heavy. This is this wild plum I took several about a month ago now actually and it's it's dead it's really hard uh, you need a sharp knife and this really bites into it um, let's really sharpen this up here a bit narrow this down so it's just a fish spear I made a while back and yeah that's good there's a good there's a good grip on this knife can you see that there yeah good grip on it and uh, even if your hands are wet, you see I'm, I'm working around a river here. Uh, this, this is quite a good grip. So it's, it's, it's I won't say it's non-slip because there's, there is no grip which is non-slip. But uh, with wet hands, no glove, it, it's quite grippy. And uh, you'll see me using it with wet hands and slimy hands a bit later on. And of course, for a cold climate, now it's really hot here now but uh, a cold climate your hands not going to freeze on the tang because there's no exposed tang for this knife so there you go take a quick tabletop here on here small knife really hacks into the wood quite easily Look at that, eh? What we're going to do is 
cut off a bit of this salami. Does that no problems. No, it's all like a taking a bit of preserved meat outdoors. It's easy to carry, don't have to worry about the stuff going off. Especially if you don't get any meat. Let's have a look at this. Nice and thin, it's a sharp knife. Into the Smells great. Ab absolutely, absolutely great this stuff. This is really fresh, it's really lush. It's got lots of water, it loves the water. Mind you gotta be a bit careful getting some of this stuff because there can be snakes out around here. It's not now because I've made such a bit of a noise, but um, this makes a really good brew and uh, you need a sharp knife to get it, as I said in the past. Normally I'd use a serrated blade for this, but this uh, blade obviously on the KNV3 is not serrated. But with that shape on there, this Extrema uh, V edge of theirs, it really does bite into stuff like this quite, quite easily and it makes the job uh, easy to cut this stuff. Because this stuff is really fibrous, okay? Okay, right, so this is the sheath of the KNV3, and as you can see, it's made out of Kydex. Uh, it's got a great belt carry system on it here. Let's, let's take a look at that. The Velcro on there, right, so you can put that down there. That's never going to come off your belt. Traditional belt loop there. You've got this fastening strap on here, which is uh, a, a press stud, okay? So you can just grab that and pull that off. But the thing about it is, it's really uh, secure in the Kydex, like its bigger brother, the KNV2. And the great thing, this is, you know, this is really a hunting knife as such. And, and what you want in a hunting knife, and I've said this previously about hunting knives and the design is, generally most hunting knives you know, they come with a traditional kind of leather scabbard because the knife can be removed and placed in the scabbard silently. And sometimes you do need to get that knife in and out when you're close to your quarry. And the thing about that is, now like with this Kydex, like, here we go, like, that, that is silent as, you know. So if you want to put that in there, there's no click or anything, and you don't want to click. And that's partly due to the fact that this makes a good closure around the knife, the Kydex molding, and also, the compound, this synthetic compound that is on the handle here of the KNV3 is, uh, is very tacky. It's, it's, it's not too soft and it's not too hard. It's, it feels a little bit more grippier than, than, uh, than for, feels a little bit more grippier than forprene. Uh, and it's a little bit different to Kraton. And it goes in and out the scabbard, you know, silently. That's quite nice. And so you've got here too, you can lash this thing to a pack here as well too. Came with this little bit of orange paracord on there then. Of course you've got a lanyard hole here too. Okay, that's the scabbard. These are the, the uh, bull rushes or cattails as they're sometimes called, typhia. And you can eat these parts here, they taste a bit like corn when they're cooked up. We're gonna boil them for about 10 minutes later on and we're just going to clean them here a bit and cut off these shoots because we don't need to take back the whole plants. So it would have been better to get to get more shoots. Okay, let's just cut them off. And they're really rich in starch, these things. This is what we're after, these shoots. And we're going to boil these things up, uh, and uh, after about 10 minutes, 
give them a good boil for 10 minutes. So here's my summary of Jakit's KNV3, the smaller version, as I said, of their KNV2, which I've previously reviewed. I think it's a great little hunting knife, four and a half mil thickness on that spine. It's really sturdy. You've seen that in the tip tests I've done there. It came razor sharp out of the box. It stayed razor sharp. Uh, all of the wood, that dry dead wood I processed uh, over several days, uh, it, it's all impregnated with fine sand from the river and dust, uh, which is blown up along the riverbanks there. So uh, you would expect that's a pretty tough knife. on the knife edge. This knife stayed sharp it's not, during it's not that slippery time. At all, wet hands. It was easy to process food with, uh, and you can see that here. So yeah, I totally recommend it. It's a very versatile little hunting knife. Okay, thanks for watching. Bush Camping Tools here.